Hello students and Sachitraka, welcome to car physics. We are continuing current electricity, chapter number 3, 12th physics. So in this lecture, we will discuss on meter bridge. Meter bridge or also it is called as, also it is called as slide wire bridge. Meter bridge or slide wire bridge. Okay. So we will discuss in brief. Then we will attend some numericals based on meter bridge. Okay. So different questions may arise. Different questions may arise from this name. First question is what's a meter bridge? or what is slide wire bridge? What is use of meter bridge? Why it is so named? Okay. And what are the components of meter bridge? Okay. And obeying the same principle or such principle on the basis of which meter bridge works, how can we go to calculation? Okay, so they are different, different forces. So what is a meter bridge? Meter bridge is some measuring, is some measuring instrument. Meter bridge or slide wire bridge is a measuring instrument. So what it measures? To measure are used to measure the value of unknown unknown resistance. Okay. So meter bridge is a measuring instrument. It's a it's a sorry, it's a measuring instrument. Okay. So meter bridge is an instrument which is used for measuring the value of unknown resistance. To measure the value of unknown resistance, we will see what is unknown resistance. Okay. So next question arises. What is the principle on which meter bridge works? Okay. So what is principle? of working of meter bridge. So we have already completed the which, sorry, the valence condition of Wheatstone's bridge, balance condition of Wheatstone bridge. Okay. So meter bridge works on the principle of balance condition of Wheatstone bridge. Okay. So on the basis of balance condition of Wheatstone bridge, we can use meter bridge and we can calculate the value of unknown resistance. Okay. So meter bridge is used to find out the value of unknown resistance or resistivity. Okay. Accordingly, if we can find resistance or if we know area of cross section and length and resistivity can be calculated by using the value of resistance. Okay. Similarly, if we can calculate resistivity, we can calculate conductivity. Okay. So, meter bridge works on the principle of balance condition of Wheatstone bridge. We know we know what balance condition of Wheatstone bridge just recall it. Just recall it. These are these are four resistors. These are four resistors. Okay. R one, R two, R three, and R four. There are four resistors with the galvanometer connected. Connected, the circuit is connected 
to positive and negative terminal the circuit is connected to positive and negative terminal of a cell okay so which from this consists of four resistors with a galvanometer okay this one is a this is b this is c and this is b a b c d a b c d then conventional current flows from high potential and all current reaches at this point the current is divided let into two branches okay then from this point or from this point either from point b or from point d current may flow current may flow through galvanometer okay so galvanometer is such an instrument when current flows through the galvanometer the needle of galvanometer will show deflection needle of galvanometer needle of galvanometer will show deflection if a small current flows through the galvanometer and if galvanometer is sensitive okay for high sensitive galvanometer if a very small current flows through it then it will show deflection so under balance condition under balance condition no current flows through no current flows through galvanometer means in this branch in this branch the current through galvanometer is zero in this branch current through galvanometer is zero means there is no flow of current between b and d okay so no current will flow through galvanometer and the condition you know charge only flows or due to flow of charge we do say current is established in a conductor so charge flows or current is established when a conducting path is connected between two points and the two points must be at different potentials two point must be at different potential okay so if there is difference in potential between two points and we do connect the two points by the help of a conducting path or simply by taking a connect connecting wire made up of metal then if potential difference is there then we may say there is flow of charge from high potential to low potential but if potential is same if the two points are maintained that same potential then there will be no flow of charge so there will be no flow of current so here current through galvanometer is zero it implies if if potential at b is equal to potential at d then there will be no flow of current through this branch okay because potential difference between these two points is zero okay to have heat the half to have it balance condition is balance condition is the ratio of r1 to r2 must be equals to must be equals to ratio of r3 to r4 if ratio of r1 to r2 is same as that of ratio same as that of ratio of r3 to r4 then it is called as balance condition or you may interchange the resistance you may interchange the resistance you may take r1 divided by r2 is equal to r2 divided by r4 you may interchange okay so under balance condition potential of these two points become same and there will be no flow of current through this branch this is balance condition so uh, meter bridge works on the principle of balance condition of which term bridge meter bridge works on the principle of balance condition of which term bridge okay is it clear made simpler okay then what are the components what are the components of meter bridge okay 
with the distance of components of meter bridge we can analyze but the instrument is so named meter bridge or slide wear bridge okay meter bridge meter bridge works on the principle of balanced condition of wheelstone bridge meter bridge works on the principle of balanced condition of wheelstone bridge it should be kept in our mind okay then what are components of meter bridge just think just think this is wooden plank this is a wooden plank Okay, then we have to set the components on this wooden plank. Okay, let's imagine an wooden plank on which the components of meter bridge can be put or can be described. Okay, otherwise we have to keep those components on a base that bases wooden plank. Okay. the components the components of meter bridge see and not so fine <laughs> in drawing okay then there are components 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 The extreme side is also similar. Okay. See, these are two L shaped, L shaped. These are two L shaped, and this is straight or I shaped. So these are, these are. Copper plates. So these are three copper plates. Okay, three copper plates. So you may ask, why copper plates are used? Why copper plates are used? So as we know, copper is a better conductor, and resistance of copper may be considered to be negligible. of course copper has a resistance of course copper has a resistance so a metal has a resistance but the resistance is so small as copper is a better conductor means conductivity of copper is uh, some extent high so we consider resistance of copper is negligible and we can take zero resistance but practically there is a resistance so okay. so copper wires are used as they have very small resistance so these are three metallic plates or three copper plates or three copper plates okay this is a point this is a point this is a point this is a point and this is a point so these are three thick copper plates okay so these points these points are this point the winding screw okay this point sir all these five points are winding screw means uh, your screw is fitted your screw is fitted we can we can hold a conductor or a resistor okay we can connect the resistors by using the winding screw okay Let's consider. Let's consider. This is this is a resistance box. This is resistance box means by using this resistance box by using this resistance box we can assign. a given value of resistance between these two points this the resistance box is connected between these two points okay 
So resistance between these two points, resistance between these two points can be fixed by using resistance box. So resistance box contains resistance, contains resistance varies from 0 ohm to infinity. Varies from 0 ohm to infinity. So resistance box contains uh, of <laughs> metallic box, uh, metallic conductor, so in which the resistance is variable. The resistance varies from 0 ohm to infinity. It means uh, we may assign any value of resistance between these two points. Is it okay? Let this resistance is R1. This resistance is R1 which is which is known means value of R1 we know because we have fixed that value by using resistance box ok by using resistance box we can fix a resistance between these two points and this is known resistance ok and between these two points, this is a resistance, let this resistance is R3, which is, which is unknown, we don't know value of R3, okay. So why I am named R1, R1 and R3, we will discuss. <laughs> so, this value is unknown, we don't know value of R3. We have to find the value of unknown resistance by using meter pitch. See, let this point is A, this point is B. These are two points A and B. Okay, we are taken on the thick copper plate. This is L set and this is L set. So where is connected? Where is connected joining A and B? Where is connected joining A and B? And this where? Made up of this wire made up of manganese or, or tungsten. This wire is made up usually by taking alloys. This wire is usually made up of using alloys. So we may take alloys like manganese or tungsten. This wire is made up of alloy like manganese or constanon. Why? Because manganese or constanon are used for making standard resistors. Since due to small variation of temperature, due to small variation of temperature, resistance of manganese or constanon do not change appreciably. Okay? If there is small variation of temperature, then resistance will not show a visible variation. Okay. So we may consider manganese or constant manganese or constant have a fixed value of resistance if all other conditions are satisfied. So the value doesn't change with small variation of temperature. Okay. Of course, the resistance will change if variation of temperature is high, okay? So, this is wire made up of manganese or constant and length of this wire is, length of this wire is 1 meter. For which, for which the instrument is called as meter bridge. Meter bridge contains wire made up of manganese or constant of length 1 meter or 100 centimeter since length of wire is 1 meter it is called as meter bridge. Okay. 
So this we are Kampana or Mangan. We are using uh, for making this soya so that it will show a standard register. Okay? So it is connected between A and B. It is connected between A and B. Another consideration, so we are made up of manganese or constant along with uniform area with the uniform area of cross section. This wire is made up of manganese or constant with the uniform area of cross section. Means cross sectional of the wire is uniform or constant. Okay, so as you know, resistance is R is equal to rho L by A. Okay, the resistivity of manganese doesn't vary appreciably with small variation of temperature, so this may be taken to be constant. Again, area of cross section is uniform, then we may take A is constant. Means, if rho on A Resistivity and area of cross section are constant, then resistance directly proportional to length of the wire. Okay? If area of cross section and resistivity both are constant, then resistance varies directly with length of the conductor, as we know. Okay? Then another component. This is a galvanometer. This is a galvanometer. This is a jockey, means a sharp pointer which can slide on this wire. Okay. This point is connected with a galvanometer and a jockey. Okay. The jockey can travel, means slide over the wire. So the jockey slides on the wire. So this is why. Meter bridge is also called as sliding wire instrument or slide wire instrument. Okay. This not slides from the wire, so this is slide wire instrument. Okay. By using meter bridge, we can calculate the value of unknown resistance. Let's see. So length of wire is one meter or hundred centimeter. It is made up of it is made up of manganese or constant. Okay. Let's fix a scale here. Let's fix a scale here. Scale is fixed between A and B and the variation of scale is zero. Corresponding to corresponding to A. Okay. Measurement starts from 0 cm corresponding to A. And finally, this length is 100 cm. Okay. This length is 100 cm. This is 100 cm. Corresponding to B, measurement is 100 cm. And corresponding to A, measurement is 0 cm. And it is graduated. And so Okay. So it is graduated. Okay. Now we may connect to the terminals. Of a cell. A and B are connected to the terminals of a cell. Okay. This is the discussion on components of Wheatstone bridge. Sorry, uh, meter bridge. Meter bridge consists of a resistance box by using which we can fix a value, means uh, a known value of resistance between these two points, between these two points. And this is a resistor. So this value of resistance is unknown. Okay. We have to find the value of unknown resistance by using a meter bridge. 
यूनिफॉर्म क्रॉस मेड अप ऑफ मांगा ने ना कांस्टेंट कनेक्टेड बिटवीन ए एंड बी मीटर स्केल इज फिक्स्ड द करेस्पोंडिंग रीडिंग आर 0 सेंटीमीटर एंड 100 सेंटीमीटर करेस्पोंडिंग टू पॉइंट्स ए एंड बी एंड टू थिक मेटालिक कॉपर प्लेट्स मींस टू एक्सटेंड सेक्शंस आर कनेक्टेड टू पॉजिटिव and negative terminal surface L. see the when canal current is i the when canal current is i which will flow through copper it can flow through copper copper is good conductor and the current will flow through this non resistance as well as through this unknown resistance as well as through the galvanometer okay Through the galvanometer, okay. Then now the jockey is allowed to slide on this wire, okay. Jockey is allowed to slide on the wire. So now current flowing through the galvanometer means galvanometer reading is not zero. The reading in galvanometer is not zero. Now the jockey is allowed to slide. Let. Let when the jockey reaches at point C, when the jockey reaches at point C, then galvanometer through galvanometer, sorry, uh, current through galvanometer, it or becomes zero. When the jockey touches at these points, slides from A and reaches at C. Then galvanometer shows zero deflection. Okay, see, this is length A, okay, and this is length C, and now galvanometer deflection is zero. Then resistance of this part, let's take R A C. Resistance of this part, let's take R C D. Okay, now let's take the Wheatstone bridge. Let this point is A. This is A. This is C. Sorry, this is B. So this is B. A B. A B A. Then this point is C. This point is C. Okay. This point is A B. So this point is C. This point is C. This point is C and this point is. D. Okay. Anyway, we may interchange the name. Oh, D. Then resistance between A and D is R one. Resistance between A and D is R one. Resistance between D and B. C. This is a metallic. Uh, material means uh, made up of copper. So copper is good conductor. So current flows through this alveolus through this cell section of copper conductor also thick copper wire. Okay. Then between B and B, see, since this is uh, copper conductor and resistance is considered to be zero. Then potential of all these three points is same. Then between B and B, resistance is R. Between B and B, resistance is R. Then between A C, resistance is R C. Between C B, resistance is R C. Sorry. B. R C. See, previously we are taking this is R2. This is R2. In place of R2, here R AC, resistance of length AC, and in place of R4, resistance of length C. Then these two ends are joined, joined to the terminal surface cell, 
And if galvanometer shows zero deflection, if galvanometer shows zero deflection, then the condition is satisfied. Means potential at D is equal to potential at C. Okay. Any name you can use, it doesn't matter. But the values of resistance obey means in accordance with the principle. Ratio of R1 to R2 must be equals to ratio R3 to R4. Then balance condition is satisfied and galvanometer will show zero deflection. So the condition is R1 divided by resistance of H R must be equals to R3 divided by resistance of C means R4. Okay. So the principle is used here. Then, if this condition is satisfied, then there will be no flow of current from D to C. If this condition is satisfied, then no flow of current will be from D to C. And now, the circuit is balanced. Okay? And this is our equation for balanced condition. Okay? Using this equation or using this uh, principle, we can calculate the unknown resistance R3. We will fly the jockey or lawyer and we will observe the deflection of galvanometer. If at any stage the galvanometer shows zero deflection, then we may use this condition, balance condition, okay? And we can calculate the value of R3 because these lengths can be measured. This length can be measured and resistance is directly proportional to length if area of cross section and material constant. Okay. So resistance directly proportional to length and these two length AC and C V can be measured. Thus we can calculate value part. Okay, let's see. Or you may write R1 divided by resistance of AC. Let this length is L1, then rest of length is 100 minus L1, means length is 100 centimeter or 1 meter. If length of AC is L1 or L, or L, then rest length means from C to B is 100 centimeter minus L. So in place of resistance of AC, we may write rho, length of AC is L, area of cross section is A, and here R3 divided by resistance of CB rho, length is 100 minus L, divided by area of cross section is uniform A, 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 rho, rho, get cancelled. Then our final equation is R1 divided by L is equal to R3 divided by 100 minus L. R1 divided by L is equal to R3 divided by 100 minus L. This equation is in accordance with balance condition of Wheatstone bridge, means meter bridge can be balanced. So that we can calculate the value of R3. If length L, length of AC can be measured, then we can calculate R3. Clear? Is it clear? Okay. Now we will approach some numerical. Very easy numericals and, of course, useful numericals. Oh. So this is our balance condition of Woodstone bridge, which is used in meter bridge, which is used in meter bridge. Now, some numericals, fundamental numerical. Okay. First question. Two resistors. Okay. This point is A, this point is B. Okay. This is galvanometer. Connected to the terminals of itself. Okay. This point is C. Okay. Let this resistance is six so this resistance is X. Unknown resistance. Known resistance is 6 ohm, unknown resistance is x ohm. Now, the uh, meter bridge is at balanced state. Meter bridge, 
मीटर ब्रिज आठ इट्स बैलेंस स्टेट ये मीटर ब्रिज इज जस्ट बैलेंस स्टेट मीन्स नाउ करंट थ्रू द वॉल्यूमीटर इज जीरो करंट थ्रू द वॉल्यूमीटर इज जीरो एंड ए सी इज मेजर्ड टू बी सिक्सटी सेंटीमीटर AC, AC is measured to be 60 centimeter and CB is measured to be 40 centimeter. When the jockey reaches at C, the galvanometer detection shows zero here, means no current flows through galvanometer. So this length is how to be 60 centimeter because here meter scale is connected to measure the length. 60 centimeter and length of CB is 40 centimeter. Then it is asked find find total current in the circuit in the circuit. Of course, you may take EMF is the potential difference of between terminals of the cell is six volt potential difference means terminal potential difference is 6 volt. Then we have to find total current. To get total current, to get total current, we have to find uh, equivalent resistance of the circuit. So, resistance of this part is A, resistance of this part is C. Okay, AC and if galvanometer shows zero deflection, then the condition must be satisfied. This is R1. This is R3. Okay, in accordance with <laughs> previous uh, used values R1, R3. Okay, and this is resistance of AC, means R2. This is the resistance of CD, means R4. Now use the condition. Balance condition 6 bar L. This length is L. L is 60 centimeter. So, our condition is R1 divided by L is equal to R3 divided by 100 minus L. Okay? R1 is given 6. L is measured 60 centimeter. R3 is X, which is to be calculated. R3 is X. And the remaining length, 100 minus 60 centimeter, 100 minus 60 centimeter is 40 centimeter. And x means the value of unknown resistance is 6 into 40 divided by 60. 6 into 40 divided by 60. Okay. Then the value is 4 resistance, value of unknown resistance is 4 ohm. Okay. Then the unknown resistance is 4 ohm. Okay. Then we have to find current. Now see, this is equivalent to Wheatstone bridge. Okay. If no current flows through galvanometer, then these two resistors, if no current flows through galvanometer, then these two resistors are in series. And of course, these two we have divided into two parts. Here the jockey is tossed into the wire. Then resistance AC and resistance CB are in series. So these two resistors in series and these two resistors are also in series. Okay. Then we have to find total current. Of course, uh, in question it must be mentioned this wire has the uniform resistance of one with of one centimeter, sorry, one ohm per centimeter. Okay. So resistance is one ohm per centimeter. So total length is 100 centimeter, 60 plus 40. So total resistance is total resistance is 100 ohm, one ohm per centimeter. Total length is 100 centimeter. So if resistance is one ohm. For one centimeter length, then resistance is 100 ohm per 100 centimeter length. Then this is 60, this is 40. So total length 100, total resistance is 100. Then resistance of this part, RAC, is equal to 
60 oh, one ohm per centimeter. Okay, 60 oh. Then resistance of C D is 30. It is clear. Then we have to find total resistance. These two are in series. These two are in series. We have got value of X. We have got value of X. Four of value of X is four of. Let's write it first. Okay. Then these two resistance in series. Six ohm and four ohm in series means resistance is ten ohm. Then this R A C and R C D are in series. The total resistance is 100 ohm. Okay. 10 ohm and 100 ohm and connected to the terminals of a cell 6 volt. Connected to the terminals of the cell 6 volt. Okay. Then we will calculate what is correct. What is total correct? So 10 ohm and 10 ohm. Both are in parallel, so equivalent resistance is 2. Okay. Equivalent resistance is 2 ohm. Let's see. Let's see. Ten, 6 plus 4, 10. 60 ohm plus 40 ohm is 100 ohm, okay, 100 ohm, total resistance is 100 ohm, total resistance is 10 ohm, okay, so this is 100, this is 10, okay, this is 100, this is 10, then equivalent resistance is R1, R2, 10 into 100, divided by R1 plus R2, 10 plus 100, so this is 10 into 100, divided by, so this is 100 divided by 11 ohm, and total current, total current is V by R, voltage is 6, Current is, sorry, resistance is 100 by 11. So this total current is 6 into 11 divided by 100 or 66 by 100. So this is equals to 0 0.66 ampere. 0.66 ampere. So these two are in series 6 plus 4, 10. These two are in series 60 ohm plus 40 ohm, 100 ohm. Okay. So 10 ohm and 100 ohm are in parallel, then we can find total resistance or equivalent resistance, then this is terminal potential difference, V by R, V by R is equal to I. Is it clear? 2 is G numerical. Okay. Then second question, we will raise the level gradually, okay, second question. Second question I am directly showing you the circuit. This is meter wave, length of one meter or hundred centimeter, A C. Galvanometer, this is C jockey, connected to terminals of a cell, connected to terminals of a cell. Okay. Like this length is 40 centimeter, this length is 60 centimeter, this is 3 ohm, this is 6 ohm, and this is R. 3 ohm, 6 ohm, jockey. Now in that point C, length of AC is 40 centimeter, length of Sorry, this is C, this is B. Length of C, B is 60 centimeters. Okay. Then we have to find value of this unknown resistance. Here R is the unknown resistance. We have to find value of this unknown resistance. Very easy. Just see. 
This is a 6 ohm and 3 ohm. 6 ohm and 3 ohm are in parallel. You just see the total current. These are two. So this current is divided into two branches. The total current means current through this branch may be divided into these two branches. So 3 ohm and 6 ohm are in parallel. Then equivalent resistance of 3 and 6 ohm. R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2, R2, and this will come 2 ohm. This will come 2 ohm. R1, R2, 3 into 6 divided by R1 plus R2, 3 plus 6, so 18 by 9, and equivalent resistance of 3 ohm and 6 ohm is 2 ohm. So this is 2 ohm. Okay. Then, this is 40 centimeter, this is 40 centimeter, and this is 60 centimeter. From a set, the terminals of a set, okay. So this is uh, the wire, we have assigned here the values, okay. So, uh, We have connected the wire from A to B. Total length is uh, 100 centimeter, and jockey is at point C. Then galvanometer shows zero deflection at this point C. Galvanometer shows zero deflection. Okay. These two points A and B. Then this condition here, the balance condition is this is R1. In place of R1 is R, R1 divided by L1, 40 centimeter, is equal to R2, R2 is 2 divided by this length, 60 centimeter. And this implies R is equal to 2 into 40 divided by 60. So resistance is 8 by 6, 8 by 6, okay, 8 by 6, you may write it. Resistance is 4 by 3 ohm. Okay. So R, value of R is 4 by 3 ohm. Total, sorry, value of this unknown resistance, 4 by 3 ohm. Is it clear? So, thus we can find the value of unknown resistance by using meter gates. Okay. In practice, we can calculate length so that we can convert it to equivalent resistance of any part, okay. So the resistance of this part is R2, then we can calculate. Okay. Suppose given, uh, resistance is 1 ohm per centimeter, then we can calculate by using the length. Okay. Next. Next question. Very easy. Suppose, here there are three resistors. One, two, three. There are three resistors and here. There are two resistors. Okay. Connected. Connected to the terminals of a cell. To the terminals of a cell and here. This is the job. This point is A, this point is B, this point is C. A, B, C. This is galvanometer. Let, let this resistance 3 ohm, this is 6 ohm, this is 2 ohm, this is R, and this is 4 ohm. 3 ohm, 6 ohm, 2 ohm, this is R, and this is 4 ohm. Okay. When the jockey tosses at C, then galvanometer shows zero deflection. Galvanometer shows zero deflection. Okay. Then, length of AC, length of AC is measured, length of AC is measured, and length of C can be found. If length of AC is measured, then total length AB is 100 centimeter. If length AC is measured, then we can calculate length C, length C. 
let laity is given forty centimeters. We have already used this well. Let's change now. This is twenty-five centimeter and see where it is. Seventy-five centimeter. If AC is given, this is given. AC is measured to be twenty-five centimeter. Thus, we can calculate CB. Hundred centimeter minus twenty-five centimeter is equal to seventy-five centimeter. Now, the one meter so zero deflection means the bridge is balanced. The bridge is balanced. So these three are in parallel. As you see, three ohm, six ohm, and two ohm are in parallel. So if we have in three distance. Or you may take a one by a one by three plus one by six plus one by so one by R will be six by six. Just calculate it. Then R is equal to one. Total resistance means equivalent resistance of three, six, and two of each one. So you may connect here. This is one. And R and four. These two are in parallel. Equivalent resistance of these three resistors in parallel is one ohm. And R four again R and four in parallel. If two resistors are in parallel, then equivalent resistance is R one R two divided by R one plus R two. So here there are two resistors. So equivalent resistance of these two four into R divided by Four plus R, R one, R two divided by R one plus R two. Okay. Then this is so. Yeah. A B. This is galvanometer, and this is jockey touching at C. So this length is twenty-five centimeter, and this length is seventy-five centimeter connected to terminals. Connected to terminals. Then we have to find value of this unknown resistance. As it is asked, it may be asked. Find value of this unknown resistance R. We have already drawn the equivalent circuit. Equivalent resistance of these three resistors is one ohm. Equivalent resistance of these two resistors is four R divided by four plus R. And the circuit is balanced. The galvanometer shows zero deflection. Then, as per principle, R1 divided by R2, 1 divided by 25, is equal to R2 divided by sorry R3 divided by R4, R1 R2, R3 R4. Then R3, 4R divided by 4 plus R, divided by 75 centimeter. R1 by R2 is equal to R3 by R4. Resistance directly proportional to length. In place of R2, 25 centimeter. In place of R4, 75 centimeter. Now only we have to solve for R, R, which is R. Then 25, 75. This is 3. 3 is equal to principal supply. 3 is equal to 4R divided by 4 plus R. Then principal supply 12 plus 3R is equal to 4R. So R is equal to. 4R minus 3R, R is equal to 12 ohm. R is equal to 12 ohm. So this is our answer. The circuit is given. The circuit is balanced. Then these three resistors in parallel. These two resistors are in parallel, connected to the terminals of the cell. And balance point is obtained when AC is 25 centimeter and CB is 75 centimeter. Then find the error. Unknown resistance R. Is it easier? Okay. Then we will now approach a very good question. Okay. And uh, useful question also. We will see in a circuit we can connect uh, an additional resistance in series also in parallel. Okay. Then what will happen to the balance point? So question is based on this. Concept both series and parallel, both series and parallel. Okay. The question is like this: We are using we are using a meter bridge. We 
we are using a meter bridge this is a this is t this is jockey jockey touches at c source of vm terminals okay so poster poster is uh, like this you may name this is r1 this is r3 resistance of ac and resistance of c resistance of ac and resistance of c okay the voltmeter and this is so okay i'm writing complete question then i will start solving and you should first try it okay the given the given circuit is balanced given circuit is balanced and now point is found to be at 60 cm from a the given circuit is balanced and now point is found to be at 60 cm from a okay then what is asked what is asked okay. if no resistance is connected in series connected if 15 ohm resistance is connected in series with with r3 with r3 now point Now point shifts shifts by shifts by ten centimeter towards towards A. Okay. So first this uh, this uh, meter bridge is balanced. Okay. The given circuit is balanced and now point is found to be at sixty centimeter from A. Then it is given. If 15 ohm resistance is connected in series with R3, then the null point means point C balance point or null point. Null point shifts by 10 centimeter towards A. Towards A. Is it clear? Then again it is given. Again it is given. Find. Find. Null point is shifted towards A. Through 10 centimeters, find position, find position of position of null point if a resistance if a resistance of 30 ohm. If the resistance of 30 ohm is connected parallel, connected parallel to R3, to R3, just think. This given circuit is balanced and null point is found to be at 60 centimeter from A. Means length of AC is 60 centimeter. If 15 ohm resistance is connected in series with R3, then null point shifts 10 centimeter towards A. Okay. Okay. Find null position. We have to find distance of uh, uh, balance point from A. Distance is measured from A means from left to right. Okay. Then we have to find the position of null point uh, when A resistance of 30 ohm is connected in parallel to R3. Okay. First thing, this given circuit is balanced. This given circuit is balanced. A null point is at a distance 60 centimeter from A. This is 60 centimeter. According, this is 40 centimeter. 
This is 60 centimeter and this is 40 centimeter. Okay. Uh, total length is 100 centimeter. Then first, let's find the ratio of R1 to R3. R1 divided by 60 centimeter is equal to R3 divided by 40 centimeter. R1 by R3 is equal to R3 by R4 if the circuit is balanced. Means no current is flowing to galvanometer. Then R1 divided by R3 is 60 by 40 means 6 by 4 or 3 by 3 divided by 2. So ratio of R1 to R2 is 3 divided by 2 or 1.5. Okay. So this is about this circuit. We are done. We got the relation, I am writing here, R1 to R3 is 3 by 2. The ratio of R1 to R3 is 1 by 2, what we got from this condition. Then we will go to next step. We will go to next step. Using this step, we have calculated ratio of R1 to R3. If 15 ohm resistance is collected in series, with R3 now, this is R3 and this is 15 ohm. And if additional resistance 15 ohm is connected with R3, then 0.6 by 10 centimeter towards it. Then 0.6, let here, 0.3. So the previous length was 60 centimeter. It is shifted towards 8, so length becomes 50 centimeter, and this length is also 50 centimeter. Okay. So this was uh, 60 centimeter. Now point shifted by 10 centimeter. 60 minus 10 is 50, and remaining distance is 50. Okay. This resistance is connected in series. Then R1. We may use the ratio R1 by 50 centimeter, these two are in series, then total resistance is R3 plus 50 divided by 50. These two are in series R3 plus 50 divided by 50. R1 by 50 centimeter is equal to R3 plus 50 ohm divided by 50 centimeter, these two get cancelled. Then what we got? R3 is R1. R1 is equal to R3 plus 15 ohm. R3 plus 15 ohm. Then we will go to final point. This step is completed. Okay. This step is completed. What we got we have taken here. Find the position of null point. If a resistance of 30 ohm connected in parallel to R3. Okay, this step we have already discussed and finished our this condition. So, this resistance is R3. Now it is given. We have to find null position, means null point if a resistance of 30 ohm is connected in parallel to R3. This resistance is 30 ohm. If 30 ohm is connected in parallel to R3, then we have to find the position of null point. Let now this length is L and this length is 100 minus L. If a resistance 30 ohm is connected in parallel, then the null point is found to be at C. And let's take this length AC is L and the remaining length is 100 centimeter minus L. Okay. So now R1, again we may use the same condition. Got this. R1 divided by length, resistance proportional to length, is equal to total resistance in parallel. Two resistors are in parallel. The equivalent resistance is R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So this is 30, this is R3 in parallel. 30 into R3 divided by 30 plus R3. 
R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2 divided by this remaining length means 100 minus L. Okay. So using these two relations, we can find the value of R1 and R3. So this is the equation in accordance with the given condition. If resistance of 30 ohm is connected in parallel to R3, then using this relation, see, from this R1 is equal to R3, see, R3 will be equal to, from this R3 is equal to 2 by 3 R1, just trust multiply, 2 by 3 R1 is equal to R3. So in place of R3, we do take 2 by 3 R1 plus 50. So R1 is equal to 15 into 3, okay. This is 45, or you may take like this R1 minus 2 by 3 R1 is equal to 15. So R1 by 3 is equal to 15, and R1 is equal to 45. Similarly, putting value of R1 here, we may calculate R1, R1 is 45 ohm is equal to R3 plus 15 ohm, then R3 is equal to 45 minus 15 is equal to 30 ohm. We got R1 and R3 using these two relations, using these two relations, so now let's use here. The value of R1 and R3 may be used here so as to get balance point. R1 by R1, R1 is 45, 45 centimeter divided by L is equal to 30 into R3, R3 is 30, so 30 into 30 divided by 30 plus 30 divided by 100 minus L, <laughs> divided by 100 minus L, so 45 divided by L is equal to 30 into 30, 900 divided by 30 plus 30, 60 into 100 minus L. Okay. 0, 0 gets cancelled. 0, 0 gets cancelled. Then 45 cancels 92. Then 1 by L is equal to 2 divided by 6 means 1 by 3 into 100 minus L. Just check it. 45 by L. 900 divided by 60, 900 divided by 60, 100 minus L, 100 minus L, okay. 0, 0, 45, 92, 2 divided by 6, 1 by 3, okay. Then, we may take 1 by L, 1 is equal to, or 3 by L, 3 by L is equal to, 100 minus L, 3 by L, okay, this is 1 divided by 3 into 100 minus L, okay. Can I erase this? So this is already you have used, only you have to find the distance of balance point from A. We have already used given resistance 30 ohm connected to R3, okay. Then, only you have to solve it, 1 by L is equal to 1 divided by 300 minus 3L. 300 minus 3L is equal to L, that's only thrust multiply. 3L plus L is 4L is equal to 300, and solving it we may get L is equal to 300 divided by 4. So, L is equal to 75 centimeter. L is 75 centimeter. So, balance point is found to be at C. Okay. Then L is measured to be 70 centimeter. Means distance of null point is at a distance 75 centimeter from A. Okay. So, this is part one.
this is part one of discussion on meter bridge this is part one of discussion on meter bridge again i am again meet you i am again meet you part two discussion on meter bridge part two thanks my dear children thanks